Now in this video we're going to be showing you how to get Minecraft mods. Now we're going to be using the Forge mod loader but there are other Minecraft mod loaders that you may hear about. One is Fabric and one is NeoForge. None of these mods will work together. NeoForge will not work with Fabric mods, Forge mods will not work with NeoForge, and vice versa. You have to pick your mod loader and kind of stick with it until you decide to start a new world with different mods, for example. How do you pick a mod loader? Well, Forge is generally the most popular, however, Fabric is kind of starting to become neck and neck with it as far as popularity goes. And then NeoForge is kind of the new kid on the block, taking a lot of inspiration from Forge, actually originally starting off as a fork of the Forge project, and now has its own kind of setup and things like that. So which one you go with kind of depends on the mod you want. For example, if you go and look at mods, some of them will support Forge, some of them will support Fabric, and some of them will support Neo Forge. I'd recommend finding a few mods you like, seeing what mod loaders they have. You may have to not play with a few of them because they don't support a certain mod loader, whereas the rest of the mods do, and then go with that mod loader. That being said, Forge still barely being most popular over Fabric, we're going to be using Forge for this video. To get started, go to the second link in the description down below and by the way our guides for fabric and neoforge are in the description down below as well and once you're there go ahead and find the download forge link that will take you here this is our in-depth text guide on getting forge that goes over everything you need to know to get forge up and running in minecraft once you're on this page though go ahead and click the download forge button because i assume you want to go with the video not the text guide if you do prefer text guides though that is there for you once you're on forge's download page click on 1.21 here and then select 1.21.3 once you see minecraft 1.21.3 here under download latest click on installer now then take you off to add focus where stop don't click anything on this page whatsoever just wait about 10 seconds and then after about 10 seconds a red skip button will appear in the top right so sit here and wait, and that red skip button appears. Go ahead and click on that. Forge will then start downloading. As long as Forge is in the title here, which it is, we're going to keep or save this file right like so. Now, while Forge downloading, how do us from our company, Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown that XYZ says SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server running Minecraft mods. You can install any Minecraft mods that you want on your Simple Game Hosting server and play those mods with your friends. Plus, if you'd rather have mod packs, which is like a big collection of mods, there's one one click installation of hundreds of mod packs from Curseboard, Feed the Beast, and other mod loaders. And should you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out and get those resolved. So go check out Simple Game Host to get the first link in the description down below. The breakdown of .xyz slash SGH and start your very own 24-hour DDoS directed Minecraft server the simple way. Nonetheless, with Forge downloaded, we do need to go ahead and download some Minecraft mods as well. There are two popular places to get Minecraft mods, CurseForge and Modrinth. Both of these are linked down below, and which one you use kind of just depends on what mods you want. Some mods are just on CurseForge, some mods are on Modrinth, and some mods are on both. But they're both trusted sources to get mods from. So, for example, if we go to CurseForge here, we can filter, and that's important to know because we want Forge mods. We only want mods that are compatible with the Forge mod loader, and we can go ahead and select 1.21.3 as well. You have to use mods for 1.21.3. Mods for other Minecraft versions will not work. Mods for other mod loaders will not work. You have to use, if you're using this video, Forge 1.21.3 mods. You can also filter on Modrinth here. If we come here and we select 1.21.3 and Forge, it will go ahead and select only those mods for us to view here. Now, the mods we're specifically going to be getting in this video are Tree Harvester, which is here, and it's linked in the description down below along the other mods we're going to be installing. For mods on Curse Forge, you'll simply go to Files, and then you will find the Forge version, which as you can see, this is Forge Fabric. This one mod supports all of them with one file, which is amazing, and it supports 1.21.3. So this is what we want. Click the three dots and click Download File, and it will begin to download after a few seconds. Just like with Forge, you may need to keep or save it. However, I do want to mention one thing. If you were just to install Tree Harvester, it actually wouldn't work, and that's because you need a mod called Collective. Often you'll run into mods needing another kind of mod, like a library or a compatibility mod, in order to work. If we go back to the description here, we'll actually be able to see that this requires collective, requires library mod collective right there. So you want to make sure that you get that, that you're downloading that, that you're installing that, all of that stuff in order for this to actually work. Because if you don't install collective, it won't work. And Often mods will have another mod that works with them. One way to see this is if you go to relations here up at the top, it will actually sometimes say this. It doesn't always say it, but sometimes it says what dependency mod or library mods this has, and right here it is. 
Now I have it linked here as well. We can go ahead and download it. Same process. Go to files. Find the Forge 1.21.3 version. Right here it is. Click the three dots and click download file. And again, you may need to keep or save it. I also want to show you the download process on Modernth really quick. And to do that, we're going to be using Simple Voice Chat. So here is Simple Voice Chat on Modernth. The download process is very similar. Just go to versions. You again want to make sure that you're getting the Forge version for 1.21.3. So as you can see here, we have game versions 1.21.3. And then the platform is Forge. You can filter these right up here at the top to find this and right here it is this is the version we want click the download button and it will begin downloading again keep or save it now with that being said you can see how kind of confusing this can be trying to find the specific version you want different versions published at different times things like that so that's where having that filtering is super super helpful and uh well that's what we did to find the version we needed so nevertheless at this point everything's downloaded we can now go ahead and get these mods installed to do that, you want to move them all to your desktop. They're not going to stay there forever. It's just easier to use all these files when they're on your desktop. So we have our mods here, which is Collective, which Tree Harvester requires, and Simple Voice Chat there. Then we have the Forge Mod Loader. We're going to be starting off with the Forge Mod Loader, so go ahead and right-click on that. Click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, what if I don't have Java? Well, if you don't have Java, or you do when you click OK and it doesn't work, it's most likely because you don't have Java 21. Java 21 is required for Minecraft mods like Forge, so make sure you go to the description down below and get Java 21. Again, it's linked down below with an in-depth video and text guide on how to get it. And we also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files from your computer, like Minecraft mods and Forge Mod Loader itself and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But first, get Java 21, then run the jar fix, and you're good to go. You will now be able to open up Forge by right-clicking on it, clicking Open With, clicking on Java, and clicking OK. Now, at this point, it's super easy to get Forge installed. All you've got to do is press two buttons. Install client, and then OK. And now Forge is installed. And the only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed before installing Forge. And you need to have played Minecraft 1.21.3 before. If you only play with mods, you may not have played vanilla Minecraft. But you need to just go open it up to the main menu and close out of it. Minecraft 1.21.3 without any mods or anything like that. Then come back, install Forge, and you'll be good to go. And it will say, once it is finished, successfully install Client Profile Forge for version 1.21.3. Click OK, Forge will close you can actually delete Forge off your desktop. Now let's get our mods installed. To do that, we want to play Minecraft using our Forge installation. Now, one should have been created for you by default, and if that's the case, awesome. But if it isn't, I'm going to show you what to do about that, how to get one, all of that stuff. But if you do have one, you can go ahead and play Minecraft using it. So as you can see, we do have it here. Forge 1.21.3, click play, click play to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft. You are good to go. Otherwise, go to installations up here at the top. Then you want to make sure mod is checked. If mod is not checked, Forge isn't there, but as soon as you click Click on modded. There it is, Forge 1.21.3 you're good to play Minecraft with it. But if you still don't have this, go ahead and click New Installation. You can do this anything you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with or without mods with your friends. And then go ahead and click the Versions drop-down box here and select Release 1.21.3-Forge. Right there it is. Click on that and you're good to go. Click Create in the bottom right. And now you have this new profile that is a Forge profile, most importantly. Go ahead and play Minecraft using it, confirming you're playing modded Minecraft by clicking Play again there. And now Minecraft's going to open up with Forge installed. Honestly, that's that's the hardest part is actually getting Forge up and running. Once Forge is up and running, adding these mods is going to be super quick and easy. Let me show you how from the main menu. To get your mods, just click on the Mods button here on the main menu, then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Then drag and drop any Minecraft mods you want to install into this mods folder, right like so. Once you've done that, well, you're done. Go ahead and close out of this. Click Done here. And now you need to restart Minecraft because the mods aren't here. They're not going to appear until you load Minecraft using Forge and the mod. So it's important that you make sure, and if you get this, by the way, it's just you're trying to relaunch Minecraft too fast. If we click on it again, it will open right up. But you have to play Minecraft using Forge in order for your mods to actually be active. Anytime you want to play Minecraft with your mods, you have to play it using the Forge installation. So if we go ahead and play Minecraft using Forge, either the one that was there by default or the one that we created, go ahead and play Minecraft using that. And when Minecraft opens, you guessed it, your mods will be up and running and be able to use them in game. So on the Minecraft main menu, we can click mods and there are your mods. Simple voice chat, collective and tree harvester in this case. However, we can also jump into single player. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm just gonna make a new world because that's easier. And um, yeah, we'll go ahead and check these out really fast just to prove specifically tree harvester is working in game. Simple voice chat, we can't necessarily show is working because well, it's kind of meant for multiplayer. However, simple voice chat does have the mute button in the bottom left. I guess that does prove 
prove that it is working. As far as tree harvester goes, what we need to do is come over here and get an axe, and then we will be able to cut down this tree all in one basically hit. It's kind of cool. All you've got to do is crouch and break the bottom block and there it goes. And since we're creative, it's actually instant. You just click on the tree and it's gone. Um, if any saplings fall with it, it will actually go ahead and automatically replant those as well. So yeah, really cool stuff. And um, one of the, in my opinion, coolest mods, a must have mod in Minecraft 1.21.3. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We'll see you in the next video and enjoy your Minecraft mods. I'm out. Peace.